Good morning. How's everybody today? I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, we are going to learn about our project for this week, and our project is based on warm and cool colors. So in the art packet that came home with you, you will find a worksheet that says warm and cool colors on it. Um, explain to your little one um, what are warm colors and what are cool colors and have them color this in. Now on here they tend to use the winter time as cool colors and that is kind of a hard concept for a lot of our students um, or children because we don't live somewhere where there's snow and it gets that cold. Um, I tend to think of cool colors and explain it to the students as um, the ocean because in the ocean you'll see a lot of blues greens sometimes even some purple in there um, and uh, also maybe nighttime where you see the darker colors you know the blues the greens stuff like that so have them look at that color it in uh, the the colors right here are really good for them to maybe try to read the word and match it with the color um, but that's that so you'll need the worksheet and you'll need crayons for that the next project you're going to need some construction paper for warm and cool colors you'll need two warm colors two cool colors so have them choose whatever two colors they are yeah two of each that they want to choose for this I chose yellow and pink as my warm colors and I chose purple and green as my cool colors. So the first thing I did is I, I did use two half sheets of the construction paper. I took one of the warm colors, one of the cool colors, and I taped them together like this. And I um, only use half sheets for this because if you use whole sheets, it's going to be way too big at the end of it. And um, it for what we're doing, it'll look kind of silly. So um, half sheets of paper, one warm, one cool, glue them together or tape them together. And then you're gonna take your other two remaining colors, your warm and your cool, and have them trace their hand on it. Now, when they trace their hand, let them trace it. I know it is hard for them at kindergarten, but this is um, a fine motor skill that uh, they really need to learn. So just have them put their hand down on the paper, spread their fingers out nice and wide, and um, trace all the way around their fingers, reminding them to stay nice and close to their fingers. Uh, we, you know, we don't want them to go really big outside the lines. We want them to stay, or outside of the fingers. We want them to stay really nice and close to the fingers so it actually represents their hand. So they're gonna trace that on uh, the remaining warm color and the remaining cool color. Now these cannot be the same colors as the two that we taped together um, because we are going to match them and put them on. So once they have them trace, have them cut them out, their hands out. Remind them, again, go nice and slow, cut nicely. It's not a race. Um, you know, you can take as much time as possible to cut your hands out. So I have my big hands here not cute and little hands but big hands so I'm just gonna match them my warm color with my warm color I'm gonna glue it on my cool color with my cool color I'm going to glue that on so that way when I finish I will have warm warm cool cool so that's it pretty simple project the thing about this is again having them slow down trace nicely, cut nicely, and be able to tell you what are warm colors and what are cool colors. So I hope you have fun with this project and I look forward to seeing their cute little hands. Have a great week. Bye!